let's check out all of Xiaoyu's season 3 changes. She got a, some really nice buffs. I don't think she got any nerfs. The first one being forward 214, now being a counter hit launcher on the second hit. Percent stand. Like this. I don't think this is a very useful buff. Because you will never hit this string on a good opponent. The second hit is a high, so it's kind of useless in the neutral. Another buff. Increase the lower range of the shoulder. And now she can do a nice wall combo, I believe. Let me see if that works on characters with small hitboxes. Okay, the Swift's on Xiaoyu. But it does hit on male characters and it's uh, oh my god, I, I chose stage select instead of character select. It works on male characters and it does like 60 points of damage. I believe this is the new max damage combo for Xiaoyu at the wall. I believe the old one was something like jab into down back one, which obviously deals less damage. And they reduced the recovery on forward 3 plus 4 and forward 3 plus 4 down 1 plus 2 by a couple of frames. And I've seen a couple of new setups, tech roll catches, especially at the wall thanks to this. So this helps her Okizemi. I'm sure the Xiaoyu community will find out way more setups, but it's probably too early in Season 3 to know what really are all the setups, what, what this is used for. They also recovered... no, they shortened the recovery time on down for 2-1, which I believe it's gonna also affect her Okizami somehow and maybe better combo routes but I haven't found any better combo routes for her yet and this is another nice uh, change right here you know this low that does no damage this low is plus 2 on hit and it's also plus 2 on block and you pretty much have to low party this low or sidestep it if you want to avoid it or deal with it it's also 15 frames fast and now on counter hit this gives her a guaranteed shoulder which hurts at the wall a lot especially with the new wall combo and i believe this really helps out well, not really, but it's a nice little addition, especially to her wall game, since you can do frame traps such as down back 4, which is plus 7 on hit, into down back 2, and if they press a button after down back 2, then bam, gonna get wall split. And as I said, they changed the frames and uh, the range on her wall standing one. It actually has better range now. Slightly. Still nothing amazing. And she now has wall standing on 4, a new 13 frame wall standing punisher, which she kind of needed because wall standing punishment was one of her weaknesses. She only had wall standing 4 for 11 frames, wall standing 2 for uh, 13 frames, which deals even less damage than wall standing 4, and then she only had a hop kick at 16 frames, which doesn't have amazing range, as you can see. So this really helps her out. And it goes to back frame stands for mix-ups. You have a lot of plus frames, you might be able to pull off something like a rage drive mix-up. Uh, when you have rage. Good stuff. And another nice buff she got is a change on her wall standing for. They made wall standing 4 have a different animation uh, 
when it hits grounded opponents. Now it looks like this. It flips over the opponent. Which makes Hiroki's enemy uh, even better. Because then you can run up and do mix-ups. Because uh, Xiaoyu has a lot of frame advantage in this position. During side 3, down 1 plus 2. Okay, this is just a minor fix. Previously, for some reason, if she did side step 3 into down 1 plus 2, the sweep dealt less damage than if she didn't go to AOP. But now they deal the same amount of damage. Then she got another counter hit launcher in back turn 1 4. Both hits in the string are counter hit launchers. One is a counter hit launcher. And even 4 is a counter hit launcher now. Even though it's a high. Many opponents, they try to interrupt Xiaoyu after back turn 1. Because she stays in back turn stance. So sometimes Xiaoyu player will throw out the second hit to discourage them from pressing buttons. And now it's going to have an even better reward. And she has a new wall bounce with back turn 3. This wall bounce is not that good. Um, wow, that was pretty far. This move is launch punishable on block. It does have pushback, but I mean, it's like minus 19 or something. It's terrible on block. It's not really useful as a move, especially not in the open. I've seen a lot of setups with this at the wall, but she didn't need a wall bounce for that, because the move already used to wall spot. And then another counter hit launcher with back turn down 3 4. The second hit is a counter hit launcher. This is a low high string, so obviously you can duck the high. Uh, but um, it's gonna discourage people even more from pressing buttons after the first hit. And it's actually natural on counter hit, but like. This is gonna counter hit launch only if you hit counter hit them with the second hit. And, and the one minor change is that they increase the damage of AOP 1 plus 2, which is her wall bounce, which is save on block from 24 to 25. Very, very small buff. And there's that. I think she got some nice buffs. Especially the wall standing 4 buff. And the new wall standing Punisher. These are really going to help her out. These are the two buffs that really matter for her this season. Are you forced into back turn stance after walking on R4? Uh, you, yes, you are forced. Oh, wait! Is this hit confirmable? This also might be slightly hit confirmable, but just very slightly. The window for hit confirm seems, seems way too small. Hmm. I'll have to play around with this more. Did she get nerves? Nope. She did not get any nerves, fishes. Only buffs. 